welcome back to another incredible episode of Black Girl Healing Session where we talk about everything that has to do with healing our mind, body, and soul. So if you're interested in today's topic, please stay tuned. And remember, we are available to listen to on our podcast, Unapologetically Shine, on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, Anchor, and I always, always upload an episode on Wednesdays on my YouTube channel, Life with Sean. All right, let's get into it. So today's episode will be called or titled Daddy's Issues. So I'm going to go in depth about the origins of where daddy issues come from, different types of fathers that may cause these issues. Um, I will also talk about my own personal daddy issues as well as how, you know, we may pick our partners due to daddy issues. There's gonna be a lot I talk about when it comes to this because this topic really resonates with me because I have noticed that a lot of my issues when it comes to relationship is due to daddy issues. So let's get right up into this. I'm not going to ramble on. I'm going to get right into it because it is going to be a powerful message. And I hope that this resonates with each and every one of you. And if it doesn't resonate with you, always share it to somebody that you think that this will resonate with them. So today we're starting this out with the origins and let's get into it. So basically the father complex describes a person with unconscious impulses because of a deprived relationship with their father. And these impulses can either be positive or negative. The negative impulses towards a partner could be they're very fearful or even distrust. And some positive impulses could be admiration towards that partner. So the father complex is is when a daughter develops unhealthy relationships with other men who care for her. Basically, the brain recreates your relationship with your father as a way to try to fix that broken relationship or fix that wound that you have because your father wasn't there or... He might have been physically there, but he wasn't emotionally there. So that's basically the origins of daddy issues. So let's talk about the signs that you might actually have daddy issues because some people might not even notice that they have these issues at all. But sometimes you might be interested in much older men. And this is because you probably grew up with a dysfunctional father or you grew up without a father at all in the home. And you desire that protection and that love from your father. So you try to search for it in older men. This, and this also can be, you think that these men can provide that affection that you were missing when you were growing up. And I definitely can relate to this because I've always had attraction to men that were much older. And that is because I never got that affection that a father is supposed to give to his daughter. So, and then you feel more safe and you feel protected. And I didn't feel that way as a child. So that's one thing that shows that I have daddy issues. Also, you can be very clingy, very possessive, very protective. Um, you can be very anxious with your partners leaving you. You might have like abandonment type of issues as well. So you don't, you don't want people to leave. So you hold on real, real tight. That's another thing with me. Um, also you constantly demand assurance of love. So you always ask and like, this is a big insecurity. So you always have to ask your partner. Like, do they love you? Do they still love you? You don't trust it or you don't believe it. You just, you feel unloved even though they are showing you love. You still feel unloved so you have to keep getting reassurance from your partner. Um, And sometimes you constantly love an abusive partner. 
there's a lot of women that goes through this and i i do believe that daddy issues is the the center of it all because they think that love is abuse and we're going to talk about different type of fathers and i think this one really resonates with someone that had a father that was very abusive in the home so all they saw was abuse and they thought abuse was love so that type of issue would be a person that had a father like that in the home there is a some people they seem to want a lot of sex yeah the feeling of love some people get through sex they think that will band-aid their wounds or they they make sex something where they can cover up all those emotional wounds and sometimes a person can be struggling with attachment issues so you cover it up with sex that's some people i don't i i never had that issue with my daddy issues i basically told you what it was um and i think this next one does resonate with me because i really had an issue as a teenager and even as a child of never wanting to feel alone and i didn't know that that was another reason because of daddy issues i thought that was my abandonment issues but i think this also plays a part in why i never like to feel alone and having a i would say my father was abusive when it was verbally abusive even physically not to me but to my mother so that really affected me so that is how you know you are aware of those daddy issues so write those down and see if if you resonate with any of those if any of those speak to you all right let's get into the types of fathers now we have the emotional unavailable father the father as i stated before is physically present in the home but he's emotionally unavailable to his daughter then the child will feel incomplete and abandoned and desperate for that parent who is physically available they you can't just be in the home and and thinking that's gonna help your daughters or your sons grow up to be fulfilled they still need you emotionally we are humans we have emotions if you're not giving a human that proper emotion then this will develop daddy issues so i feel like this is me the emotionally unavailable father Yes, my father was in the home, but he was not emotionally available. So that is number one minds. Then we have the abusive and the violent father. And basically this father, they might not only abuse you as a child, but they may abuse your mother, which is the model that you look up to. So this affects your views on relationships your views of men in general because if if the man that is your father is not respecting and loving your mother you don't have that example of what love is supposed to be so you're going to continue to see struggle love and that's basically what abusive and violent fathers cause in their daughters and their sons if you if you're very hot tempered you your emotions are so unstable you always yelling or you cursing out your kids or you cursing out the mother of your child all of that that is abusive so that can cause daddy issues too then some people might think this is a good thing in a way yeah but in a way mm, i don't know but pampering and and an indulging father now i feel like this is a good thing because a father needs to give his daughter the attention and love but then she might grow up to be spoiled so you it's like a catch-22 with that like it's a good thing you're supposed to give them attention and love but then you don't want them to be spoiled because then they're gonna have unrealistic expectations of their future partners 
So you get what I'm saying? Yes, you're supposed to treat your daughter like a queen or a princess. And you're supposed to make her understand what a man is supposed to do and how a man is supposed to treat her. I definitely agree with that. But sometimes you can give your children too much attention and love. Not too much love. You can always give them enough, more love. But you might can give them, you can spoil them to a point where they just have unrealistic expectations of people. So I think this is a good thing, but you know, it's a catch-22. Then we have the toxic and controlling father. This can really mess up any child, you know. You 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 can't control your children's life. Remember, yes, God placed you in these children's lives to be their parent. But you're supposed to raise them up and help guide them to be better human beings. You cannot control their lives. They're just another human that you are responsible for taking care of and and help and guide them but you can't control what they decide to do with their lives and a lot of parents don't really concept that like they think when their children get older that they can dictate everything that kids do but you really can't like it's not your job to to force what you your views are on your children you're just supposed to raise them and guide them in the right direction that that's what you're supposed to do so that's basically what toxic and controlling parents do. They just try to live through their kids. And that's a whole nother story, whole nother topic where people live through their children, you know. And then there's the dependent father. Now, I feel like this is part, this is now my present life. That is why I literally cut off my father and have no contact with him because he has been dependent so like the roles have reversed so it's like i'm the parent and he's the child and i had to cut that off because it was it was really bringing me down it was it was controlling my life you can care for your father and your mother but when it becomes to a point where they feel you are obligated to take care of them if now i you can take care of your parents there's nothing wrong with taking care of your parents If they're ill and they need your help okay you can take care of them but when they start to take advantage of you and they start to feel like they're obligated to your time to your efforts to everything then there's that's the problem there and that that is my father he thinks that I will have I have to stop everything in my life to do something for him it don't work like that it don't like the world don't revolve around you like if somebody do something out of the kindness of their heart that's one thing but when you feel like people are obligated to do something for you that's where the problem comes in and this is basically me all day long like so that is what a dependent father is they they think that they kids have to do something for them when they don't so yeah, so that's the those are the different type of fathers that's out there. So also write these down and see if any of that resonate with you because you you might like, yeah, my father is just like that, you know? So yeah, write that down. So now let's get over into the different types of daddy issues. We got the, you know, anxious and clingy. I, I spoke about that before that you could be very anxious and clingy to your partner to a point where it's just too much and they they don't want to deal with you. I've been at that point sometimes. So yeah, you don't want to be that. Um, You might be very dismissive and you might have trust issues and you're just afraid to be hurt because you're afraid to put your trust into another person because you've been hurt so many times that's me um you're fearful or you're worried about intimacy so you avoid getting close to anybody or if you're sometimes if you're faced with difficulties in your life you prefer to just run away and you never deal with those issues so those are a few um, types of daddy issues that you might have 
And many of us have daddy issues and not even realize it, you know? Not in just romantic relationships, but you know, like everyday relationships. Some people can be very clingy to their friends, to other, you know, individuals in your life. You might be very clingy, protective, and you keep seeking this constant love validation from other people instead of within yourself. So it can get to a point where it get abnormal. And you can like suffocate other people in relationships and make them not want to deal with you at all. So yeah, daddy issues are something serious. And I I notice like as I get older, how many <laughs> of these issues affect different parts of my life? Like the daddy issues I feel like affects my life a lot. Like sometimes I could be emotionally on autopilot I've been saying that lately because it's like you you for since you've been feeling like this for so long you just forget how to feel you know and so you just go with the flow of everything and and that's because I haven't healed this wound from my childhood and that affects every part of my my life like even how I love my children how I love my husband how I love myself and family like you become detached from emotion and that's that's never a good thing so I'm being transparent and let you know that most of the time I'm very detached detached oh my god detached from my emotions and I'm learning how to get more connected with myself and my emotions again because that's not a healthy trait so what you can do to help you heal from these daddy issues is definitely go to therapy so that a therapist can give you some tools to help you work through these issues and you know actually bring them up and get to the root cause of it you know because these are different tips and different signs of actual daddy issues but if you work with a therapist they'll help you work out a plan that will help you and also shadow work like I stated before um, that definitely helps because you can write it out because getting it out is what's gonna really help you so let's let's close it up and I'm gonna get my final thoughts on this topic love is definitely a two-way street it don't matter who you love love is an action so love has to come from you and love has to come from a, another person so it can be felt but it all starts with loving and learning to love yourself so do not let these daddy issues continue to control how you love because if you do you will never truly know how to love or receive love from somebody else so that's what I wanted to say. I hope this resonate with somebody that's listening. And if it doesn't resonate with you, again, please share it to somebody that you feel that this will help. Because I'm in here in this healing game to just educate others on how to love themselves and heal themselves, mind, body, and soul. All right. Bye.